How narcissists react when you refuse to chase them after breaking up. Everyone. Today, we're exploring a topic that's often ignored, but is really important in understanding narcissistic behavior. What happens when you don't chase after them once they've left you? Have you ever thought about what happens when you refuse to play along with their games? When you deny a narcissist the attention and validation they crave, their anger and resentment become obvious. Even though they've treated you badly, they still expect you to come running after them for approval. But what happens when you decide not to play their game anymore? Your silence becomes a reflection of their own insecurities and flaws, a refusal to engage in their manipulative tactics. In this discussion, we'll uncover how much narcissists depend on others' reactions and the intense emotions they feel when things don't go their way. We'll see beyond their facade of confidence, revealing the vulnerability and desperation underneath. Join us as we navigate the power dynamics and emotional chaos that define narcissism. Before we dive deeper into narcissistic behavior, it's important to acknowledge the support that keeps conversations like this going. By engaging with the content through likes, shares, and subscriptions, you help build a community of support and understanding. Every action you take spreads valuable insights, potentially reaching those who need it most. Let's delve into understanding narcissism and its impact on relationships. One key aspect to consider is how narcissists maintain control over their social circles, especially when it comes to ending connections. Their actions are carefully planned to ensure they keep a grip on their perceived supply, those they exploit for their own benefit. They manipulate the timing of breakups to shield themselves from rejection, thus maintaining dominance in the relationship dynamics. Recognizing these behaviors helps us navigate such relationships with clarity and resilience. Understanding narcissistic patterns not only reveals their strategies, but also equips us with defenses against emotional manipulation. Let's embark on this journey together, emerging stronger and wiser in our interactions. But there's more to it. Firstly, they see you as dependent, believing you can't manage without them, boosting their sense of superiority and control. Secondly, they expect you to chase after them relentlessly, stroking their ego to make them feel superior. They thrive on your pursuit, seeking validation that reinforces their self-importance. If you don't meet their expectations, they become angry. Strangely, they need your negative reactions to feel good about themselves. When you don't respond as they anticipate, they feel empty and wounded. Your refusal to feed their ego leaves them feeling vulnerable and hurt. The lingering pain persists because they lose their grip on you. You're no longer there to manage their emotions. They begin to hold you accountable for their unhappiness, convinced that your lack of reaction is the cause. In their eyes, you become the villain, seemingly inflicting harm by not meeting their expectations. It's a distorted perspective but it's how they perceive things. Here's where it gets bizarre. Despite inflicting numerous wrongs upon you, lying, cheating, devaluing, and ultimately abandoning you, they start to view themselves as the victim. They feel wounded because you're no longer enduring suffering for their sake, no longer sacrificing yourself as you once did. Understanding the thought process of narcissists can be perplexing for those unfamiliar with it. Their focus revolves entirely around themselves, their wants, needs, and desires. Recognizing this can facilitate better interaction with them and shed light on their behavior. When confronted with their shortcomings or when their demands aren't met, narcissists often resort to manipulation tactics to maintain their sense of superiority and control. They may employ gaslighting techniques, distorting reality to make you question your own perceptions and feelings. This manipulation serves to further entrench their victim narrative and deflect any responsibility from themselves. Moreover, narcissists thrive on attention and validation. When they don't receive the adulation they believe they deserve, they can lash out or engage in behaviors aimed at regaining the spotlight. This could manifest in grandiose gestures, exaggerated stories, or even more insidious tactics like spreading rumors or undermining others to elevate themselves. Despite the havoc they wreak on interpersonal relationships, narcissists often remain blind to the impact of their actions. 
They're adept at rationalizing their behavior, painting themselves as the misunderstood heroes of their own narratives. This lack of self-awareness perpetuates the cycle of toxic behavior, making it challenging for them to foster genuine connections built on mutual respect and empathy. A typical person tends to reflect on their actions and seeks to mend any harm caused to others. However, narcissists follow a different pattern. They refuse to acknowledge their mistakes or make amends, persistently shifting blame onto others without learning from their errors. This absence of introspection and accountability complicates interactions with them. Occasionally, narcissists may express a desire to reconcile, but they remain trapped in a cycle of vengefulness and resentment. Their emotional state resembles a roller coaster, oscillating between fixation on the person they harmed and attempts to appear unaffected. This repetitive loop of anger, retaliation, and denial perpetuates their inability to move forward. They may contemplate hoovering, a term describing their efforts to draw you back into their orbit, akin to a vacuum suction. Alternatively, they might seek distraction in new relationships, yet inevitably return to their initial state of frustration and self-pity. Narcissists, driven by their insatiable need for validation and admiration, are prone to experiencing intense anger when they perceive any threat to their ego or sense of superiority. This anger is not just a passing emotion, but often a deeply ingrained response to any perceived slight or challenge to their self-image. Their inability to tolerate criticism or rejection fuels this anger, leading them to lash out in various ways, from overt aggression to more covert manipulation tactics. Moreover, narcissists' anger is intricately tied to their sense of entitlement and grandiosity. When they don't receive the admiration or compliance they believe they deserve, they may become enraged, viewing it as a personal attack on their perceived superiority. This entitlement fuels their belief that they are above reproach and entitled to special treatment, making it even more difficult for them to accept any form of criticism or rejection without resorting to anger or retaliation. In essence, understanding the nature of narcissistic anger requires recognizing the complex interplay between their fragile self-esteem, insatiable need for validation, and distorted sense of entitlement. By comprehending these underlying dynamics, individuals can better navigate interactions with narcissists, setting boundaries to protect themselves from manipulation and harm, while also fostering empathy for the underlying insecurities driving the narcissistic behavior. We appreciate your involvement in our discussions. Your contribution is invaluable to us. Joining our community for just $1 unlocks exclusive benefits and helps us grow our content. Your support is crucial for maintaining our standards and exploring new opportunities. Thank you for being a valued member of our audience and for your contributions.